welcome back to a new video so today i'm doing a get ready with me but i thought it'd be fun to kind of go from like start to finish so include like my skincare um makeup hair and outfit so yeah i don't think i've ever done it from like start to finish so i thought that'd be fun it's not going to be a chit chat but i will be kind of talking about like what i'm doing and when i'm doing my makeup kind of telling you what i'm doing but i'm not going to be like full on like chatting about random stuff if you guys do want to see a chit chat get ready with me let me know i haven't done one in a while um so yeah um i woke up about an hour ago and i just had breakfast and now i'm just going to do my skincare um my skin has a lot of texture so i'm going to be putting on a mask oh it looks really bad um i don't know what mask i'm going to put on yet but we'll figure that out later um i'm first just going to put in my contacts brush my teeth wash my face and all that and then put on a mask so let's go ahead and get started i always first wash my hands so i can put in my contacts because you don't want to put in contacts with dirty hands also i look really pale i really need to go and get a tan sometime this week because uh, girl i literally lost my tan completely in my face on my body it's still kind of tan but it's also not i lost my tan let's just say that <laughs> <laughs> Contacts are in. Um, and I'm gonna brush my teeth. <laughs> my teeth have been like super sensitive, and I went to a dentist earlier this week. And he told me to get a sensitive um, toothpaste, so I have this Colgate Max White Extra Care Sensitive Protect. Um, I don't know if any of you care, but. <laughs> Look at this. It hurts so bad. I don't know how I got it. I just woke up with this. But, wait, let me for now. Quick little tip if you ignore my hair, if you have like a tongue scraper like this, you use the brush side to like exfoliate your lips. I've been doing this for years. So, yeah, that's a really good tip if you want to keep like your lips nice and exfoliated and soft. It works really well. I'm gonna clip this back because I don't want my hair to get wet. I don't know if you can hear that, that's a washing machine or like the dryer, one of those two. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so now I'm going to wash my face. Oh, I was talking about the breakout. So I woke up with this thing and um, my skin has been doing better, luckily, because I was breaking out super bad for like a couple weeks and it just wasn't getting any better. Like the moment some of the breakouts cleared up, new ones came again. I feel like now it's getting better. I just have this big crater on my face, so and it hurts really bad. Also, if you want to see like my in-depth skincare routine, I'll leave it down below. I'm not really gonna go on to that right now because I literally have a whole video on it. So I'll leave that down below. But yeah, I'm just cleansing right now. Okay, so now let me take this down real quick. I need to slip back out. Ow. That's fine. Oh, it looks so pale. I think for my mask, I'm going to use the Teeny Blends Detox. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I did do a sponsorship with them like a while ago. And I used to have a coat for this mask, even like percentage off. So if I can find it and it still works, I'll leave it down below. I'm not really sure if it does. Um, but you're supposed to kind of wet your face a little bit. It goes on easier. Just putting a little bit of water on there. I'm also wetting my brush a little. I just use this. This used to be like my first foundation brush. Um, but you they sell like actual face mask brushes now. But I like putting my face mask on with a brush because it just applies a lot nicer and more neat. So but this mask is really good. And I definitely recommend purchasing it. Putting a nice layer on my pimple. I like really putting it around my lips because I get like white heads around my lips sometimes. Or just like clogged pores and it looks really nasty. So the 
should be good. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then I'll be back to take it off. Um, or maybe I should pick out an outfit. Should I do that first? I don't know. So I have some clothes right here that I need to film with in a second, but um, what should I wear today? I literally struggle picking out outfits so much. Like, I ordered some new clothes, so that should make it a bit easier for me. I just never know what to wear. I just need new stuff. Asa. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing. Just some jeans. The white t-shirt. I didn't really feel like doing too much for today. Um, also because I have to like film outfits later, so this is it. My face mask is still not fully dry, so I'm just going to let it dry a little longer, um, and then we'll take it off. Okay, so I just finished my skincare and now I'm going to go ahead and set everything up and start doing my hair and makeup, so let's go do that. I'm hoping the lighting is kind of good. I'm using my ring light right now, right here. You might be able to see part of it in the corner, but that's okay. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is curl my hair because I've been wearing it straight, but I really want to see what this looks like curled. So um, this hair is by Cranberry Hair and they're actually sponsoring this part of the video. So I'm wearing their Brazilian Body Wave in 16 inches. I have three bundles in. i um, pretty sure we used almost all three of them. And I hope this kind of turns out good. I don't know. I'm like struggling right now, but it's okay. Um, I'm just going to use my T3 curling wand. Looks like this. As I said, this is their Brazilian body wave in 16 inches. I usually get like super long hair, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of go for something a little shorter for once. Um, and when I got it installed, we also right away went ahead and straightened it. So I want to see what it looks like when I curl it because it is a body wave. So you kind of want to obviously see what that's like. I'm not really going to go for like super big curls or anything, but I want to put some like natural kind of waves in it, I guess. So I'm just going to clip up half of my hair. I hope this ow, curling iron works. Like it smells kind of weird. There's something on it, but I don't know what that is. It's a really good curling iron, but I hate how I can't control the temperature. Like it's just one temperature and I have no idea how hot it is. Let's see. I like that. Do you see that? I want it to be kind of more wavy than actually like curled and I'll just alternate. And I'm leaving out like quite a bit of the ends, like I don't want the ends to be fully curled. I kind of want them to stay a bit straighter. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of speed this up for you. And while I'm curling my hair, I'm just going to watch some YouTube and yeah. I just finished curling my hair it's just kind of like a messy wave like i didn't really want to go for like full on curls but i like how it turned out let me just fix this piece um yes yeah, so as i said this hair is by cranberry hair and i will leave all the information to it down below i actually really really like it even when i got my hair done i'm the girl that does my hair she even said like this feels like it's like it's different from like most hair that you get from like Chinese like hair vendors. 
um, she could like definitely notice the difference and I definitely can as well. It's so soft. It just looks so like, oh my God. When I just gotten it done that same day and we'd like straighten it and everything, it blended so well with my hair and it just looks so like nice and shiny and luscious, but it's not like too shiny if that makes sense. This, this part, this is not looking good. Let me fix this real quick. like this little piece in the front so yeah it just looks really nice it blends with my hair really nicely and I have no idea how long the curls or like the waves are gonna stay in but it is body wave so it's supposed to kind of take curls and waves and like have it last a lot longer um, and I did put like quite a strong hairspray in but yeah I'm just going to do my baby hairs and then we're going to head on to the makeup so for my baby hairs I always use the gotcha be glue this is the clear one this just makes sure that my baby hairs will last all day. Yeah, so my baby hairs will literally stay all day and it just does not move. And I don't even use a lot. Like I use like a tiny bit, especially when I'm wearing my hair down. And I just go ahead and kind of brush them forward. I feel like it's kind of just polishes the whole look because like obviously it already looks good, but I'm making them look smooth really finishes off my hair in my opinion I can't imagine like never doing my baby hairs anymore like it's just it changed my life so whenever I start my makeup I always start with a primer and with my brows I don't really know I don't think I want to go for full foundation today I think I'm gonna skip out on the foundation but I will be wearing like concealer and stuff and I'll kind of show you how to do that so first going to prime For this, I use the Cover FX Blurring Primer, really been liking it. And then I'm going to start my brows. So what I first do is I take my Anastasia Dip Brow Brow Gel and I brush all my brow hairs up. This is in the color Granite, so it adds kind of like a dark color to my brows and I just brush all my brow hairs up. Like that. Um, I always do my brows super messily, so you will see it's not going to look good until I go in with concealer. But then I like to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. This is in Ebony, and I just use the darkest color. And I just take like an angled brush and start kind of filling in my brows. Again, super messily, like I don't really pay attention to where I put it, I just make sure it's everywhere. And obviously have it be a bit darker towards the arch and the tail, and then kind of fading it into the front, kind of like that. See how messy that is? It doesn't look cute at all. Then I use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, just in the color Butterscotch. And then I use a flat little brush and basically go in and carve out my brows. I need a close-up mirror for this. start blending this out. I'm pretty satisfied with this brow. It looks kind of good. Then we're going to go over and do the same thing on the other side. I'm not sure when it stopped recording, but it did. So I'm sorry if you missed part of me doing this brow, but um, yeah, I'm almost done with it. Now I'm going to conceal my face. So what I've been liking is using that same Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And just running this underneath my eyes in a triangle and then also putting it around my mouth and my nose where I have some discoloration and I let it sit for just a little bit so that um, the coverage can get a bit fuller because it dries down a little I'm also going to be cream contouring using the Huda Beauty Tantor. This is in the color medium. It's quite dark, um, but when I got this, I still had a tan. So I feel like maybe if I got the lighter shade, that would have been maybe a bit easier, but I'll make it work either way. So then I go in with my NYX Bear With Me spray, and I'm just going to spray on the side of my face, just one side first. I take a little bit of the Tantor and I start kind of stippling this into the skin. I've noticed that this goes on a bit better if I first kind of wet the skin a little. 
but I always struggle with like cream contouring so if anyone has like tips for me because I feel like it always kind of looks blotchy like I don't know why <laughs> Now that my face is nice and splotchy, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Medium um, and put just like a little bit on the inner corner right here. Like really where I just get like super dark underneath my eyes and I'm again going to let this sit for like just a little bit. So before I blend that out, I'm going to kind of prep my under eye setting powder. Um, I can never bake on top of a wet concealer because I always get like dark like you can just see my dark circles it's really weird it just kind of changes the color i don't know why it does that so i always first have to set my concealer which i've been using the nyx hd powder and banana for so many years and it still works for me so i kind of get some on my brush and just kind of leave it there um so i can use that right away after blending so i'm going to just start slowly blending this in and I don't want to bring it down too much. Like I really want to keep it kind of in this inner corner. Because you see how that like brightens up right away. And I also bring it into like right here. That little corner right there. Because when that's dark it also just makes your eyes and your under eyes like darker. Um, and this just really like brightens up the face. You see that difference? To me that makes a huge difference. And it kind of just opens up my eyes again. Looks really nice. So now I'm going to make sure there's no creases and then set my concealer with this NYX powder. But like I'm just keeping it underneath my eyes and not bringing it anywhere else. And you can see how that brightens up my under eyes so much. Then I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Powder Foundation in the color Golden 6. This didn't match me for a while because I got my tan, but now it matches me again. So I kind of just put this all over and I just put it everywhere because it adds like a little bit of coverage, but I also really like how it makes my skin look. Um, and it just kind of helps even out my skin tone. And then I'm also going to just quickly take that... HD powder on top of my eyes. I'm not really going to do any eyeshadow, but I do just want to make sure it's set and not shiny. And then I do still want to go ahead and powder my face because I have oily skin, so I need to make sure to still do that. So I'm just going to use my Becca blotting powder and kind of use this wherever I get oily, which is around my nose and then my forehead and in between my brows. And then I'm going to go in and bake with my Laura Mercier setting powder, translucent setting powder. And I'm just going to take this underneath my eyes and on my smile lines. And again, this is just going to brighten up my under eyes even more and also just make sure that it does not crease. And even while I bake, like I still end up creasing, but it's just not as bad as when I don't bake. So then I like to go in with my L'Oreal True Match um, powder in the color Deep Golden. This is actually just a regular like face powder. Oh my but I've been using this as a bronzer for a really long time and I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. So I just bronze up my whole face with this. I also like to bring this onto my eyes. If I'm just going for a natural look, I just put it in my crease. It just blends in with the rest of my face and it does just add like a little bit of color to my eyes so it's not like just like super flat and boring. So then I'm going to wipe off my bake. I'm going to add a little bit of that bronzer underneath my eyes. I'm gonna add some blush and I love this NARS exposed cheek palette I've been obsessed with this shade right here it's kind of like a brown kind of brown but also a little purple I don't know I just take some of that and 
blend it pretty high up kind of like from my cheeks into my bronzer because I just like how it looks and then I add a little bit onto my nose this kind of gives you that like sun-kissed type of look and then I go in with the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in deep and I take just like a little eyeshadow brush this is a Morphe M506 um, you would usually use this to blend eyeshadow but I like to take a little bit of that and then like kind of Blend it underneath right here. This is how it contour my nose, okay? And then I take it on top right here, kind of where that, I don't know, this part right here. Cause it just kind of accentuates like the tip of my nose. I like to go in with my NYX Matte Setting Spray and I literally just like put like a bunch of this on. Love using this Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlighter. <laughs> I'm just going to use my brow gel again and really just like brush up all my brow hairs and have it look kind of messily like the bushy brow look. I have lash extensions so I don't put mascara on the top. There's a fly in my room. For my like everyday lip color, I usually go for the NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. I'm going to use my MAC Lip Liner in Hover. Bobbi Brown Lipstick in Neutral Rose. I'm also going to go in with my MAC Lipstick in Cork. Or Lip Liner, sorry. And then adding my Essence Shine 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 lip gloss. It's clear, but it's already been stained. So there's that. There's that. So this is the outfit I'm wearing. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna be at home working. So didn't wanna do anything too crazy and keep you kind of comfy. So these jeans are actually from H&M and I got them quite a while ago. Um, they're mom jeans, but they're a little long on me because I am pretty short, but I really like how they look, and yeah. Then this t-shirt is from Naked. I got this a while ago too. Got my Air Force Ones. These are, I think they're called Sage. They're like the platform ones. And yeah, I'm obviously not wearing a jacket or anything because I'm just gonna be at home, but this is the outfit. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and of course subscribe. Also make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.